good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have some brand new wwe elite figure customs <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's just get straight into it. I posted this on my Instagram yesterday and you guys seem to like it quite a bit. I think it got over like a thousand likes, so I appreciate that so very much. But right here we have this TNF Seth Rollins repainted with some pink added in. I don't know what my deal is, but I was just sitting there the other day and I was like, man, I really want to do like a pink Seth Rollins, but I didn't want to do like full pink tights. I just don't see that happening. Like I don't see Seth doing that. I may do it in the future just to see what it looks like since I have so many extra Seths, but I just thought this looked really good. A lot of people said I should have done uh, everywhere where it's gray should have been pink and then just have everything else black, but I didn't want to do that either. I just like the gray contrast with the pink and black it just really ties it all together here but we're going to get a zoom in right here and show you guys what this looks like so as you see here guys it's basically sort of like his 2015 attire mixed with his uh tnf 2016 2017 attire as you see right here so it's like uh, where the gold trim would be in his 2015 attire it is pink and you see the kick pads are lined here i uh covered up most of the gray down here and added black because his, uh, they make the kick pads way too big, in my opinion, with the paint. This just looks way better. It looks way more accurate to how Seth wears his kick pads here. But uh, we got the paint going around the edges of the kick pads, the edges of the uh, knee pads right here, which looks fantastic. I'm loving the way the pink like sort of just pops off of the black and gray. And of course, as you see, the pink does line up against the uh, gray, and I just love the way that looks. I just think it, again, just really pops off nicely. Uh, up here in the vest, we have the uh, designs. Is, if you've ever seen the TNF Rollins, uh, there are some stripes. There's like this panel right here was gray, and then this was black, and then the, uh, the gray came down onto this little ab part. I covered both of those up with black. They also had the three stripes, you know, or whatever. How many stripes just going down the uh, side right here? Covered that up with black and then came in with the pink and lined it all up. Sort of like his gold and black entrance vest from uh, 2015 as well. I need to switch the head scan and the shoulders and arms because these arms are just awful, guys. When, when you take this off, just I just cannot stand these arms. They're so stiff and stuff, you can't really pose them around. And it's just really like robotic and stuff. But that is the Seth Rollins. Again, I really do appreciate the way it came out. And thank you guys so much for the nice feedback. If you guys haven't seen it yet, if you don't have an Instagram or whatever, definitely let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are. But the rest of this stuff over here, I need your guys' opinion. Because as you know, in our WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 3, we made this Tommaso Ciampa figure. And I need to know which uh, tights you guys want me to do. Should I do a fantasy attire or should I do a uh, specific Ciampa attire you know we did uh, make this if you want to see how we made this go check out WWE action figure surgery episode number three definitely go check that out on the channel and let me know guys really love this bicep forearm uh, pairing right there I just love the way that came out too so let me know on the Ciampa I also want to be making a Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Gargano a leap. I just don't know what attire I want to do just yet. And I don't know which parts I want to do just yet because he's pretty ripped up. But I don't really feel like wasting a ripped torso like this one without the chest hair on a Johnny Gargano. I'd rather do like a smaller torso, I believe. I'm not sure yet, but I don't want to convert this uh, attire into an elite form. I'm just not a big fan of this attire. I want to do a Johnny Gargano like singles attire. So let me know down in the comment section about that. And then finally, our last two are the Young Bucks right here. I'm making a new pair of Young Bucks for Vindication. And I think I want to keep the navy tights and light blue. I'm not sure yet, but I don't know exactly what specific attire I want to do. i got to, you know, do some work on the heads and uh, do some stuff to the arms. But uh, as far as the tights are concerned, I want to do some cool tight designs. But I don't want to have too much paint. I kind of want to keep it to where the paint won't chip. So just let me know some subtle stuff or something I can do with these Young Bucks right here. Here, and uh, I will greatly appreciate it guys it will do wonders for me to figure out what I want to do with these bucks and of course I will show you guys the end result maybe come in here with some zebra print going down the side or up here or bucks or so I just want to do something creative with these bucks like I did for the Seth Rollins over there and I don't want to do like the standard black and white bullet club attire so let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the Ciampa Johnny Gargano and Young Bucks uh, attires that I can do also let me know down in the comment section below about 
the Seth Rollins guys again. I really do like the way this came out, and I would love to know your guys' thoughts on it. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know how, what you think about the new Seth Rollins pink custom. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Leave a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.